Hi, welcome to Open House. Not the way that we typically do Open House here, but I am Kay Yerub. I am your uh, son or daughter's quantitative literacy teacher, uh, senior course. So sorry for these poor seniors that they have to start their school year like this, but we're gonna make the best, best of it and make the most of it and, and go from there. So I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, first of all, I wanna tell you that this, this is a, a great class and it's a great opportunity because it's dual credit with Harper. So the second semester, they will receive Hoffman Estates credit as well as Harper College credit. And that credit will transfer to many universities, not every university, but many universities. So it's a great opportunity um, for, for your son or daughter to get credit already while they're in high school for, for college. Um, so a couple of things I want to highlight here. I'm just going to share the screen. What we do in class now that we're remote right now is we use an app that's called Class Kick. So I'm going to show you that here. Um, it is an app where I have all of the notes and everything. It's pretty nice. I can see while they're in there working, I can tell if they're not working and I can tell if they are working. So when I go, go in there, I get to see the class list and I can see who's participating and who's not at that point. And what's nice about it really, to be honest, is it's literally a virtual notebook. So if they miss a day, they can come, they can check the date and they can say, oh, we, you know, I missed system of equations. So let me take a look at those notes and they can, they can look back at that. So great resource. Uh, this is an app that we use every single day. It's how I give them information and how I see how they're doing as well. So this is a big, a big piece of uh, remote learning that we use a lot. In addition to that, I want to point out that we have this app. It's called Calculate 84. All of the students should have this app on their iPad. I also encourage them to put it on, a, on their phone or another device because that way they don't have to flip back and forth, but it's literally the graphing calculator and everything we need for this class right here at their fingertips, even when they're at home without going out and buying an expensive calculator. So really, really cool to, tool here to use. So make sure that you're encouraging your student to do that. Um, in addition to that, I wanna point out their Schoology page. On the Schoology page, um, I always refer the kids at the beginning, the very first thing at the top says, what are we doing today? They can look there and they can check today's date and that the agenda comes up right away as to what we're doing. Uh, again, if they're absent, this is somewhere where they can see, I've got the date, the, uh, the day and everything, and it'll give them kind of updates. And take note, I always have the test date at the bottom there. So there's gonna be a, a test on September 9th, tentatively right now. A lot of things are up in the air. Also, I wanna point out the course syllabus for this class. In the course syllabus, uh, are the percentages and everything. My email address is up here, by the way. Please, I encourage you, if you need to communicate with me, email is the best way to do that. And um, these are the critical learning standards that we go through. You'll notice there's only five of them, and what's nice is we get to do it in the entire school year. Harper does that in one semester. So we get to really spread it out and really take some time to practice and, and really get to know the material pretty well. Um, one thing I wanna point out are the weights. There will be a final exam, but it won't be our traditional 20% of their grades. So their final exam will go in the assessment category. It will not be in a category by itself like it typically has been the last couple of years. So their tests are worth 75% and all the coursework, meaning quizzes, homework, maybe classwork, those types of things are gonna be worth 25%. So they need to do well in the test. There's no doubt about it. Um, you can see it's a traditional um, grading scale there. One thing I do want to emphasize, and this is very different compared to any math class that they've had all year. In order to take the test on test day, they need to have their math Excel, which is their homework grade, at a 90% or above. Let me say it again. Their math Excel, their homework grade, must be at a 90% or above or above just to be able to take the test on test day. If they walk in on test day and do not have that 90%, then I, they will not be allowed to take the test on that day. They'll have to work on their math Excel and do some more work on that. And then they'll have a two week time period 
in order to take that test. And unfortunately, they get a 10% decrease. So that is that is, explanation is in this test and homework policy. That's something that Harper does, and so we kind of follow what they do there. What's great is if you're doing the Math Excel and you're doing the assignments, it's preparing you for the tests. We've had a lot of uh, luck with this. Early on, students, I don't know if they don't believe me or they don't, they don't trust that that's what, what's gonna happen, so they kind of push the limits. But once they figure it out and say, hey, I'm gonna have that 90% done, they're ready to go to take the test and they're prepared and they do pretty well in the test as well. So um, that's about everything I have for you. And I just want to say I'm very excited for the school year, very excited for uh, working with your son or daughter throughout the year. If you have any questions, again, please do not hesitate to email me. I really encourage you to talk to your son or daughter to email me first if there's an issue. And then if you need to escalate it, you can email me yourself. But I, I love communication with my students. More communication is, is better. Again, I hope we have a great year. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we're back in school and I get to see everybody face to face very soon. Thank you so much for watching.